Hey what's up guys and welcome to the Head Start Lab series Volume 5 on Music Production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that gets you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series, we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And all these videos were made from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real professional studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring sessions while in the program. Let's go ahead and begin. Hey, how's it going everyone? Eddie Martinez here with Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to the series. Now, in this video, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a really cool free uh, to download audio plugin. It's called uh, Filter and it, it sounds like Filter, but it's not. I want to go ahead and um, bring it up right here. As you can see, let's go ahead and pop that up. And it's, uh, it's called Filter. And basically what it is, it is a filter and it's absolutely free to download. It has this really nice uh, user interface. And you know what, I actually kind of do uh, like playing around with this uh, filter a little bit more than the onboard filter in Logic Pro X. I just think it's a just a different way to look at it, a different view. It kind of reminds me of something that might be on you know, Ableton or something like that. Uh, again, it's absolutely free to go ahead and download, which I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that at the end of this video. But let's go ahead and play around with this to see if it's actually worth downloading. Uh, so uh, what I have right here is just a little loop that I'm going to play for you. And then from there, I'm going to start you know, messing around with these dials a bit so you have an idea what it sounds like. Then I'll probably do a little something something with some automation and then I'll show you where to download. So let's go ahead and play and hear how it sounds. So that's how it sounds like uh, with the filter on, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and turn that off. That's how it sounds like with it off. So it has a, a already a nice sound, but if you wanted to go ahead and make it a little bit more interesting, you turn on the filter and you can begin kind of playing around with this XY pad, which uh, you know I kind of like. It's a pretty fun uh, way to play around with the with the filter. Let's go ahead and hear how it sounds with uh, a little adjusting. So you're starting to get an idea what it sounds like. Now, unfortunately, uh, the, it won't really play all this stuff automatically. You'll have to go ahead and automate this. Let's go ahead and uh, do a little automation, which is kind of fun to do anyways. Uh, so I have my automation uh, kind of brought up right here for this uh, track. I'm going to hit the A button. If you, uh, if you hit the A button, then you can begin messing around with the automation parameters. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to bring this all the way down to zero and click right here, click right here, click there in the center, bring that up, and we'll hear how this sounds. Let's move it just a little, just make a little adjustment. All right, let's go ahead and hear how it sounds. So it's a little drastic there. Let's go ahead and bring this up maybe to around the halfway point. So we have a little sound going through the whole time. So it pretty much works like any other filter that you might imagine. It's just kind of nice seeing the, the animation there. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and go to our other parameters that we might have. Let's go ahead and check out this uh, cutoff envelope modulation. And let's see where it's are. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Create a couple automation points. I'm just gonna do some, you know, just some simple points here, nothing too fancy. And let's go ahead and hit play. As you can see, this right here is now moving up and down with it in opposite direction to this. We'll open up another point to automate. We'll go ahead and do the cutoff LFO modulation.
Go ahead and mess with the LFO right now. And now let's go ahead and let it play again without it on. So as you can see, I'm already having fun with this little, uh, this filter right here. Again, I'll go ahead and show you how to go ahead and grab this if you want it right now. So let's go ahead and go to our Google Chrome. And I went to Plugin Boutique. And you can go ahead and download it over here for free. All you need to do is search for uh, filter. And it'll take you uh, right over here, actually. Take you to, the, to its original page right here. And all you got to do is just make sure that you're um, you're logged in. As you can see, I'm actually logged into uh, my plugin boutique. And from there, you can go ahead and download for free. It'll take you to the page that you just saw previously. You can go ahead and select uh, what you want it for. You know what? This might be a Mac only uh, plugin, which means it'll be good for you know GarageBand or maybe uh, Logic Pro 9 or Logic Pro X, which we're using right now. Uh, you go to Audio Units. And then, of course, you'll get this uh, little drop down right here, which will kind of give you, you know, some choices where you want to go ahead and download this to. I like to download directly to my desktop, hit save. And then once you do, you get this zip that's down right here. If you could look at the bottom of the left side of the screen, I'll go ahead and click out of this. Actually, cancel this, click out, click out, minimize that. And um, it, it was actually right here on the... Uh, on my desktop I think I already uh, since I already loaded it in I already trashed it but normally it'll just pop up in your desktop you double click the installer and begin the installation process just make sure that your uh, whatever program that you're going to be uh, using this in is actually off and it's not actually in use just make sure you go ahead and log out of it and then from there you'll be able to install it and then once you bring up that program once more once you start it up again the the program uh, or the plugin will actually install itself at that moment. It'll initialize and then you can begin using it. And I think it's, it's a good download. I think it's a fun download. Um, it's a very interesting, you know, take on filters. I like the way that it's set up. I think it's uh, kind of unique, kind of reminds me a little bit of an Ableton product there. Uh, so it's kind of fun to kind of mix around with different types of filters, uh, whether, you know, it's either in Logic Pro X or GarageBand. It's nice just to have a variety of different sound effects. So I definitely, re you know, definitely recommend that you guys check this out, download it. It's a pretty fun effect. So yeah, have fun with it. As always, I'm Eddie Martinez with The Recording Connection, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finances a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.